Um, so now I'm doing the post office. I never did one in the bakery, but I do have the bakery. Um, so let's look at the minifigs. The minifigure for that. Okay. What we get is a female, um, male, male, um, woman, male woman. Um, she has a letter. And you can put one letter in their back, in her back. But it's hard to put it in. Um, but if you if you put the bag on in a certain way like this, then you can get her to actually put the bag on with her hair. And she also has snowshoes that we've seen that are awesome in some other sets from a long time ago. Um, here's the male male man, <laughs> and he is nice. He has the same shirt as the. Um, male woman. He has a cap. Um, and yeah, they have bags. Male woman also have one. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the male man. Um, here's the boy, and here's his dog. Um, I'm not such a big fan of Lego dogs, but one came with the set, so yeah. Um, so. On the uh, on the on the box, it shows him using this as a loop, as uh, so that a dog should go through. And I think on a on another side, it showed him using it as a yeah. Right here, it shows him using it like a like as a they would lead a horse. Yeah. So back to the minifigs. Um, minifigures. Um, I made him look like I'm doing a loop, so the dog would go through. Um, I'm not sure if th that's why he's doing it. Um, my friend thought that that what he was doing. So, yeah. And he has a bone. We've seen this bone before. And then, we have the saxophone guy. Um... Well, I have one thing to tell about me. You gotta love the saxophone. Some people thought it was a French horn. Some people thought it was a tuba, but it's actually a saxophone. Now, if you wanted to actually, the saxophone thing to go to his lips, then he has to actually turn his hand upside down. If you do it, if you make the hand like this, then it won't, go, it will go above his lips. Here's the banjo, dude. Um... He's a scarf on. Um, the banjo is not as impressive as the saxophone, but I still like it. So, yeah. That's him. Now, this is, the, this is a customer. Um, we've seen his hair from the Brick Fair 2010 um, piano set. Um, she has a black dress and a scarf. And finally, we have the, um, shovel guy. That's what I call him. Um, we have this thing from Haunts, from the Haunts, from some Han, some Hoth sets from Star Wars, but it's green. Well, the only thing I don't like about this minifig, that minifigure is that it, um, his torso is gray and his and his thing is um, green. Okay, now on to the other thing. Now here's the vehicle. A vehicle. Now the thing you can do with this vehicle is that when you need to transport some letters, this set comes with five, I think. You can put it into here, and you can also put some some um, gifts in here. And if you saw the snowshoes, you can also put the snowshoes onto this. And also, since um, the um, car is only for one. I like to put this the male one since she can't fit in there. Um, on here, like 
the trash can right there. You know how they hang on to the side of the trucks? That's what I'm doing with the mail. And the mailman can fit, fit, in, can fit in here. Oops. Yeah. So this, uh, I like this mail truck. It has the, this French horn symbol. Um, I think that's the mail, the mail, um, the post office symbol because it's on these things in there. Yeah. Okay. Now that's the vehicle. Now let's go into the gazebo. Now, um, now this, um, part is pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, let me put the saxophone guy here, and the banjo guy. Yeah. Um, these things are loose, and this thing comes off very, very easily. I'm off these pillars, so be careful. Be careful. And we've seen this in both the bakery and the toy shop. So that's the um, gazebo. Um, this is just a bench. Um, now it's the post office itself. Now, this is the outside of the post office. Um, I do not know what these are. I do not know what these are. Um, if you know, please tell me, somehow. Um, there's a chimney. Right here. And there's a lamp post right here. And there's two mailboxes. Now, the thing about mailboxes, it's cool, is that you can take a piece of mail, and you can put put it in through this part, and then someone when they get it out, they can just take it out. So that's a cool feature of mailboxes. Now for the inside. I'd say the mail truck arrives at the mail station at the post office. Okay. Now that it's at the post office, you can put this thing right here. And yeah, you can put things everywhere in the post office. And you can also, um, yeah, there's, I don't know where the other five letters are right now, but, well, here's one where the other Layers on. Um, here's another one. You can also put one right here. And let's talk. Actually, talk about the inside. Now, first of all, here's the light up brick. Um, yeah, that's what it does. Everyone knows that now. Um, there's also a stamp sign that tells you the prices. I don't know if you can see it that good, but it says one dollar, one fifty, and two dollars. Um, and there's also this thing, some kind of postal thing. Oh, I put it on backwards. No, yeah. It's like probably a package. And now the upstairs. You have a mug. Yeah. So that's pretty much, oh, and there's also this, um, mailbox right here. Um, so that's pretty much the post office. 